Okay, so in the first Maryland Bridge video in this case, we went ahead and designed this Maryland Bridge from tooth number 23 to tooth number 25 using the intersection uh, connectors. Now, what I really do a lot of the time, and this is a little bit more advanced and you have to be careful, is a lot of times just to make sure that I have a nice thick connector and these wings don't fracture off, I personally like to do it anatomic. Now, I, I, I once again have to recommend that this is more of an advanced technique that I don't recommend you do until you get very comfortable with the in-lab software and especially Maryland Bridges. But if we go ahead and we look at these connectors, you know, we're still at uh, 7.59 for this and we're at uh, 9.10. So ideally you want to be probably pretty close to 10, but you know, based on, uh, on the, the case, you got to do what you can do. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to switch these connectors back to intersecting connect, or excuse me, anatomic connectors. So we'll, we'll go ahead, we'll go to administration. I'm going to hit edit, go back to my connector, switch on anatomic, and go ahead and change these to anatomic, click OK. Now we'll go back to our design. It's still actually showing exactly what we had before, but it says calculate restoration here. So we'll go ahead and hit calculate restoration, and it's going to actually make us anatomic connectors. Now, this is why this is a bit of a mess. This is a, a whole nightmare. Now we've got a 26.21 uh, connector that's going to be uh, bad news for, for most. We have to know how to edit the connectors. So what we're going to do is we'll go ahead and we'll click on our first connector between 23 and 24. This turns it to pink. We're going to right click on it and edit lines. Okay, so you can see this connector line right here. You can actually um, go ahead and click on it and it'll bring you up into this. Okay, so I know where my connector's at. This is kind of like drawing a copy line. And if you will just go ahead and change this line. And I know where my connector's at, so I'm going to go right around that connector. And I maybe will go halfway around that tooth. Okay, so I'm going to make a connector like that. We're going to hit apply. Now we're going to go ahead and click on the other connector. Click on the line and do the same exact thing. Remember, I know my connector is in red there. So what I'm trying to do with these anatomic connectors is give myself a line that's going to go over the lingual this a little bit, and it's going to allow me to scale it, which you'll see in a second. Okay, so now I have my connectors here. They're in red. They're not going all the way up and down the side. And so what happens here, and we're going to have to make other videos on connectors because there's lots you can do with them. But if I go ahead and hit the connector now, now I'm only at 5.59, so I'm actually less by drawing the connector than I was before. And on this one, I'm only 5.65. However, watch what I can do here. If I right click and I go to scale, we'll go ahead and scale it up, move my cursor up. Now I'm already at 11.96. Again, we'll double click on this to activate this. Go to scale. Whoops, excuse me, I hit the wrong one. We'll go to scale and we'll scale that up. Now I'm at 11.75. So by just doing those two quick things, by redrawing the line, I've created connectors with cross sections that are very, very broad and wide, knowing that I'm not going to have a problem. However, this may uh, cause a little bit of interference with the adjacent teeth. You've got to be very careful with this. Uh, you can see that my connector is going down a little bit, so you just notice where you might potentially have a little bit of adjustments, uh, especially at the bottom of that connector. But that's going to really guarantee that you don't do not have any issues with uh, these breaking off. When you go to the mill preview, 
you can see, you know, you got a little bit of a red there that's going to probably need to be adjusted, but you can see the connectors that will thicken it out. So there's lots more that you can do with connectors in Maryland Bridges. I just show it to you because it is a different way, but it is way, way advanced uh, compared to the other. So please stick with intersection and, and work your connectors manually with the circular shape tool until you get very, very comfortable uh, with them, and then you can move forward to try some more advanced